Our arrival at the ever busy Apumiro Bakala was greeted with the silence of a ghost town as people worked in palpable fear while well armed policemen kept vigilance. Trails of an earlier chaotic situation were very much visible as smoke billowed from the bonfires made by the protesting youths of the community. This was as a result of the killing of a middle aged lady identified as Kasara Chimosis, who until her death on Wednesday night sold fruits and this fallen table. Her alleged assailants, eyewitnesses say, were men of the special anti robbery squad, SARS, attached to the Obakala Divisional Headquarters of the Nigeria Police. According to them, this is the spot where Kasarachi met her death with these spent life bullets. For the past one month now, once it's 10 p.m., the SARS officials will come around and start raiding the people. Those who are at their shop, those who are walking on the way, those who are different areas, they start raiding people. And when they carry you, you build yourself with as much as 30,000, 20,000, just as much as that, for committing no offense, even when there is no incriminating material on you. So it started about a month or two ago. So tell me so, what happened last night. So last night, they came in their usual manner to raid the place. I was here. I went to eat. And we had gunshots. So we came out. They parked their bus somewhere there. And they started shooting sporadically. People that were selling food were here. Some of them took cover to this place. Some of the shop owners and passers-by, everybody took cover. Took cover. And we too, we took cover. But we were watching. So we saw them harassing the owners of the shop. And then suddenly one of them came to us this way and shot. I was watching him. It's not as if I was told. But my, my mind was like, maybe it was a harass, maybe he shot it in the air. After that gunshot, they went back and then they drove off. It was about two minutes later that we discovered that somebody was down here. So on getting to the filling station, the lady was on the ground rolling in her own pool of blood. By then they left. There was no protest, no procession, no riots, or whatsoever that would make police to say, okay, we are shooting to disperse the crowd. There was actually no crowd. So I don't know why or what will warrant them shooting in that manner. And this is not the first time it's happening here in Obakal. It was last night. Um, uh, kind of people, we are, they were demonstrating about their men that died. They are about to bury today. So the SARS people came around at this junction here. They start harassing people, shooting guns anyhow, chasing the Okada people. So this particular girl now was selling market right here. So she was about closing. The bullet that the SARS people shot touched her. So we rush her to the hospital with, uh, with the SARS people. As we reach at the FMC there, they dropped the girl, said that they, they are coming back to bring money for the treatment. So we didn't see anybody till this morning. And the girl died? Yeah, the girl died. I'm going to Na she dey mno kwana nga. O mo mo nso bo Ibrahim wonu na nga. Dan ni abu u choro ni concern e me. Abani ni ni. Ha be e wore system na ezo ndi madu hi. Ha be boke di ndi mari ji kwana sel. Ti san ototo he biyo die. Na na re nda he go. Obu chore ka ti dana bala. Biyo jo wo nyo bra na mga me ku ku a. He do die ti biyo ni ti jo so nga ro na bata no. Ba we ba ba we ba ba we ba we. Apart from the sad event of Wednesday night, these youths have their own stories to tell. I was coming back from a wakeeping around after 10. They stopped me here. They were like, uh, I should enter the sea. And I, I, I asked them, What is my offense? The other man said, I was com I'm coming back very late. I was like, What is the reason why you should arrest me? Say, If I should say anything, I will beat me. So they cannot beat me. At least I know my rights. I have freedom to, to walk around. They searched me, they didn't say anything incriminating in me. What they started doing was started beating me. And I fought them. They beat the them that I had to start taking pills, drugs, from, for the pains that I had on me. So what I'm saying is that they arrested me, kept me over there. They took the, the aid of our President General, our President General and the youth leader of Obakala for me to come out from this from the cell. I was in the uh, mechanic walking, tried to walk my bike. They meet me, they started beating me, take my bike to the police station. The youth gone look at my stomach it beat me all over my body they just they used the gun. Oh, yeah. so what happened what did you do did i you... didn't do anything i just want to go and walk my bike nothing and i you just harassing people started beating everybody scatter my bike use cutlass and cut my bike use something and hit me here while the youth allege police brutality and incessant harassment as a curse of kasrachi's death the police authorities say 
it was a case of armed robbery. An encounter with the robbers, such a thing happened. To see another vehicle used by SARS operatives were bullet ridden, there were bullet holes all over the vehicle, which can be seen at Obakala police station. There was no deliberate firing at the victim, but a situation of stray bullet, which is unfortunate, and um, the entire police command is sad about it. But for the community and parents of the deceased, all they seek is justice for Kasarachi. <laughs> However, whether or not there will be justice for Kasrachi is dependent on the outcome of the said investigation instituted by CPO Kohn. Emmanuel Wazwe, MCL News.